This video is going to provide you with information on how to create this lesson. Now when you create this lesson, it is going to allow you to completely or fully understand coordinate planes. This is in two parts, part one and part two. Now part one, you're going to place the coordinates for A through F. So the person using the lesson will find the dots and or place the dots where you specify. Part two, you will provide the dots for the coordinate plane and then they will in turn make sure that they write the number for X and Y where they're located. Now let me scroll down and you'll notice that we have two coordinate planes down here. Part one, in part one what we're going to do here is you are going to place the numbers for X and Y for A all the way to F. Alright? So you'll put the numbers and what they'll do is read the numbers and put the dots in the correct spot. Part 2. What you're going to do in this case is you are going to place the dots in the, on the coordinate plane and then the person using this lesson will have to provide the numbers of where X and Y are coordinated. Let me show you what I mean by looking at a lesson that has already been created. Okay, this lesson has already been created, and you'll notice what we've done here for part one. A is located at x is 3 and y is negative 5. So what that person's going to have to do is go over 3 for x and go down negative 5 and put the dot in the right spot. Now they'll do that for A through F. However, in part two, you will have already placed the dots of where they're located. So for example, for G, GX is located at two, negative five. So you'll have, so they will find, or you'll find when they correct it, this will be, uh, 2 and negative 5. And they'll repeat the numbers for all your dots in the appropriate place for X and Y. So this will present to the person using your lesson how to read the coordinates and place the dots and then just the opposite how to look where the coordinates are located and place the X and Y number in the appropriate spot. Hopefully that makes sense. So this will give you a a better comprehensive understanding of how to use this lesson. Now we will provide for you the lesson in two formats. One will be Microsoft Word and the other one will be in a PDF. And we'll also place a lesson up here where it only has one coordinate positive. That would be for the lower grades so that they can actually do the same work but it would be simpler for them. Okay, well hopefully all of this made enough sense and we hope you enjoy being innovative and creating your own lesson. Thank you.